Alrighty, folks, welcome back. It's the nice host. Time for some more unturned. I am here on the Washington map in my amazing base that is just so good. I mean, it, 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 I can't even say how good this base is. Alright, this is a horrible, terrible base, and if you play, did this in multiplayer, it would all just get ripped up, I'm sure. But uh, we're just doing a solo survival series, SSS, SSSSSS. Um, Solo survival little thing here, and uh, for me, since there's nobody else on the server, this will be just fine. Of course, I have made a couple more uh, pine boxes here, threw some stuff in them. Semi kind of maybe organized things a little bit, except those. I should go down here with these, and I don't know, whatever. I didn't do too much of it. Uh, but last episode I mentioned, maybe we're not too far. Too far. I'm trying to say too far, but it sounded weird. Uh, too far away from actually being self-sufficient here. So right now my food and water are at 50% uh, or less, and that's not great. But uh, we've got some crops in the ground, but they're going to take a long time to grow. Fortunately, we have a little bit of fertilizer. So this is going to help us uh, kind of get back to where we want to be. So let's equip our one and only lettuce seed, unless you're lettuce. Are you lettuce? No, I think you're a carrot. We're going to go with the lettuce seed here, and let's spend our points. So again, we want to go to the support class and go to agriculture, and we're going to just cross your fingers. I got 100 points. Cross your fingers. I want to be able to get this all the way up if possible. And remember, again, because I'm a farmer spec, this costs half as much as it normally would, but I still don't have quite enough. Mm. All right, we're gonna go kill. I'm gonna go kill two zombies, and I'll be right back because I want to get that one more point up, and I'm not totally starving right now. So, back in a minute. All right, found a couple of willing participants right outside of town, or right inside of town here. But it's actually up the road a little ways. I kind of built away from town just a bit. So uh, let's just grab this little van here, whatever this thing is. And then, yeah, if you get anywhere near zombies, they will hear. You can also hurt your vehicles by running into stuff, and you can run over zombies, but, oh my goodness, bouncing all over the place. Uh, but if you don't go fast enough, you won't kill them, and they'll stick, basically jump on your car and try to get to you. So, um, running over zombies is fun, but you got to be a little bit careful with it. Alright, so I killed two more zombies, uh, three, two or three, nobody's falling, good. Uh, we should have enough for one more point, so I'm one point off of maxed. But, again, that's because I'm spec'd. If I wasn't spec'd, it would take a lot longer to get this far. So now we can do this. Ready? Equip the seed. Plant the seed. Equip the fertilizer. Harvest the lettuce. Now we have two lettuce, which I just threw on the ground. Uh, we could eat lettuce right now, but, of course, we don't want to eat the lettuce. We want to craft two more seeds. So equip the seeds. Plant the seeds, equip the fertilizer, and harvest again. Did we get two? We got two more. Awesome. Uh, so obviously we want to kind of do this as much as possible early on because the more growing, uh, the more you double it early on, of course, the better off we're going to be. However, we need to not starve to death, right? So we may need uh, some of this to eat the moment? I don't think I do. Oh, here's something, by the way, I haven't mentioned. Um, this took a while to figure out. When you're placing stuff, of course, you can move the mouse around and move it different places, but you can also place it here, and you see how the little arrow says it's not aligned with the other two? Hold down right-click, and then move, and you can spin it around. So, uh, obviously, no big deal for this, but when you're starting to build stuff, you can uh, get all your stuff aligned up properly. So that took a while for me to figure out. All right, so I'm out of fertilizer. Oh, no, what do we do? Well, turns out you can make fertilizer. And it takes a rope. So you can take your, I guess, hemp rope, I guess, and make it into fertilizer or something. So uh, we can go ahead and do this a couple more times. And we'll fertilize you and you and you. And I think I've got a couple more beyond that. But there we go. So now we're already up to uh, six lettuce 
instead of uh, one. So doing pretty well. Uh, probably could start eating that at the moment, but I'd like to get it back in the ground. And instead of right clicking and hitting craft seed on every single one, let's just go to the craft menu. And for whatever reason, under utilities is where you make your seeds. So let's make a wheat seed and let's make five uh, lettuce seeds and we'll get those back in the ground here. And then we're going to actually probably go ahead and eat some crummy food because I already need to get my wellness back a bit. And as long as it's, or immunity, I guess it is, as long as it's above 50%, we won't die from it. Now, going down to 50% is probably a bad idea. I don't care. Whatever. You can be right there. I don't. I, oh, these were wheat. All right. Well, let's fix that. I haven't showed you that either. So if we uh, hold down F, it says salvaged. Hold F. So if I just hold down F, we can pick it back up and uh, move it over here. Now, I have a horrible time trying to get aligned with things like this. The best I've found is kind of walk back and forth and, you know, Move to a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, and that will get you pretty close to where you want to be. Again, for rows of crops, probably not that big a deal, but for other things, definitely. All right, let's see about that cheese sandwich. All right, so it says nothing. I don't know if we can cook with this frying pan or not, uh, but you should be able to do grilled cheese with something like that. So let's go back in here now and look up cheese. There we go. Uh, okay, so two bread, two, uh, two bread, one cheese makes you a grilled cheese sandwich, but it takes cooking two and it takes heat. And apparently just having a... I don't think the frying pan actually cooks anything. It's a cooking implement. If you make a uh, campfire, and that just takes logs, that's easy. Uh, if you make a campfire, then you can cook over it. I don't think you need a pan or anything. I think it just happens. So there's that. I'm probably just going to throw that back in the chest. Uh, but we don't have enough points for cooking. Yeah, okay. So 20 points for the first and probably like 40 points for the next one. So I can't make uh, do any cooking at the moment, but that's, that's okay. I think we'll survive without it. Uh, one lettuce is not going to do a ton for us, but it'll help. This energy bar would be nice. That bottled water is terrible. But we might find something to help with that where we're heading. Uh, where can I put you? Let's just put you in there. And, oh, that's why I have all this cloth on me. I wanted to mention, so now, let me drop this extra rope. Okay, so we are quote-unquote out of rope. So we can no longer find fertilizer. We can no longer, come on, come on. We can no longer find or make fertilizer. But if we could make rope, we could make fertilizer. Oh, look, four cloth equals one rope. So cloth equals rope, rope equals fertilizer, fertilizer equals food and life. So yeah, we can, uh, we can just keep on going here. And as long as we get some cloth in town, just go salvage, uh, you know, hit the laundromat or whatever, salvage a few things, and rinse and repeat, we can get by pretty well. It took a while, and I'm going to say just, you know, a while to really kind of figure out this whole thing, and that's sort of why I decided to go ahead and do this little series, or mini-series, whatever this is going to turn out to be, because none of this was obvious to me when I started. I was very much like looking in the crafting thing, looking for stuff, but nothing would show up because, of course, um, oh, it takes ropes to make libraries. Interesting. Uh, anyway, nothing would show up because I didn't have the right components. And then I was like, okay, well, let me chop down trees and get, uh, let's take the car. Oh, actually, I need to eat and drink first. Okay. So what are we going to do here? What's going to save our lives so we don't starve to death? I'm going to do you. And then we're going to have to have a couple of these lettuce for sure. So these are 15% food and 20% water, I think. Which is pretty darn decent. I will deal with that. Uh, again, the game is in early access. It's still being worked out. What is that? Oh, that's hard. I don't need that on me. Uh, it's still being tweaked and all that stuff right now. But basically, if you can get enough lettuce at the moment, you're, you're, you're set. 
you can just keep eating lettuce forever. Maybe they'll change that, maybe they won't. I mean, I don't know how much they want this to be like a hardcore survival game versus more of a run around and loot and whatnot game. So let's get back into town here. Let's get third person. And this is kind of the scary part. So we can hit a couple zombies maybe. And that's not too bad. As long as we keep moving. Once you don't, if you're not moving fast enough, then you don't hurt them. And then they can actually hurt you and hurt your car. So, uh, yeah. And, of course, you end up dragging a whole bunch of them behind you. And apparently they're faster than my car. Oh, goody. In reverse, at least. Okay, I want to hit these guys. How many can I get? I can get the four on the left easy enough. I don't know about the ones on the right. Let's try to do two, three, four, and you. Okay, I didn't get them all, but I got most of them. So let's just stop the car there, jump out, and get ourselves away where we can deal with these guys. Oh, I did not see that guy. Oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Okay, we gotta go. So, as I was saying, um, driving the car around town is a little bit dangerous. I did not do that on purpose, I promise you. I promise I did not do that on purpose. I, I, if the guy in the red hadn't caught, snuck up behind me, I think I would have been okay there. Uh, now, I can use a bandage or dressing and try to recover from that right now. But now that we have things in a... Uh, I don't want a leaper. Now that we have things in a more controlled situation, I think we'll be okay. And we can actually recover health by getting our food up high enough. So if we can get to 90% food and water, and I'm doing this to try to make them hear me. Yeah, there we go. Uh, if we can get to 90% food and water, then we'll start recovering health automatically. So we're going to try to do that. Come here. Uh, I didn't want you both. Get killed. Oh, that was close. All right, rope. Rope equals food. Or rope equals fertilizer, which equals food. All right, little sneaky action here. And yeah, they just added that, by the way, that if you uh, drag them away, after a while they will actually start going back to their uh, starting location. Okay, I don't want to sneak up on you. I want you to see me. And then do this. Nobody behind me, right? Okay. Sometimes the one that sees you makes more noise, and I'm like, oh no, another one. Okay, tater. All right, so what we want to do now is get into the pharmacy. And that's the other reason I didn't really want to use up. Is this what we were driving? Yeah, purple van. I want to grab that, that little off-roader. It looks like fun. Uh, other thing I want to do is get into the pharmacy, and that's the other reason I didn't want to use up a bandage. Yes, water purification tablets. Awesome. Uh, because we're going to use some of this, which should help us recover some health as well. What do we got here? Painkillers. And another one up here. Wow, that's a lot of painkillers. Okay. Now once again, if you sneak right up here and just do a little bitty jump, Don't just, just get on the counter and don't move, then even if there's zombies right nearby, they're not going to hit you. So we can sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Uh, splint, don't really need. That will uh, repair your leg if you break it. I don't know, I'll grab it. I guess I got room. But the rest of it was good. You can also open the cash registers, and you can combine, I think it's three bills of the same type uh, into cloth. And you can also get, yeah, loonies and toonies, which apparently are Canadian money, uh, which was news to me. Uh, you can combine them into scrap metal or salvage, but uh, it takes like three of each to uh, do, do uh, combine. So, it's, you know, I never bother with it, I guess. figure my inventory has more better stuff. Uh, sport shot. Good. The worst gun in the game. I think it's the worst gun in the game. It's like really low damage. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Though. Military mag? And what we got? Colt. Colt is not bad. Military ammo? In town? Oh, wow. This place is decked out. I actually avoided this because most of the time when I go to these gun stores, there is nothing here. I mean, like, one little bitty thing, but that's ridiculous. Do these work? 
Yep. Plus one experience. One experience. One experience. Alright, that's pointless, but uh, on the military base I found a, sh a shooting range where there were a whole bunch of those. And I realized you can hit them and get an experience out of them. It's funny. Okay, so um, Sport Shot is like a uh, BB gun, basically. Target shooting. Oh, it's a target shooting rifle. Yeah, all right. But we got freaking low caliber military ammo. That's crazy. Okay, uh, so I got two of these, 23 and 15, and it says it'll hold 40 rounds. These are the um, crates, not the clips for the guns. Anyway, if you right click and refill, then you can combine those together, and now we've got. Hello. Now we've got one that's you know almost to 40. Um, but the Colts are pretty good. They're not bad. Let's go ahead and pull one of those out. Just uh, don't have any frigging room here. Uh, let's drop you. Put you here. Grab that. Thank you for opening up or closing and giving me giving me my Colt. All right, so we got a Colt. I'll take a couple pet pot shots with it. But uh, oh, there's some stuff on the ground here. I left from our group of bad guys. Oh yes, the paintball gun. Yay. Uh, so V will change it. So I'm in semi-auto mode, semi-automatic mode. Uh, so this one only has semi-auto and safety. Uh, a lot of the other ones have uh, auto, auto fire or burst fire. But uh, damage versus players is different than damage versus zombies, it seems. So most all of the weapons will pretty much one-shot a zombie if you had shot it. All right, and this is going to make all sorts of noise. Okay, I can't hit him from there because he's behind the cash register. But uh, one thing you can do is pop a zombie, and then apparently I didn't get out of crouch mode. I was going to say, and then wander off so that nobody knows who where you shot from, but apparently I didn't get out of crouch mode. Oh, and I'm hurt, so this is a bad this is a bad deal. Um, yeah, we gotta get out of town. Get out of town. Get out of town. Get out of town. He's gonna hear us. He's low on stamina. Ah! Back off. No. No, we don't want any. Back away. Come on. Bugger. No. 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 Okay, I've never actually tried to do this before. This is amusing. Get go. Go away. I can deal with one or two of them. It's when there's like ten of them. Oh no 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 no. Whoo. Okay. What was I saying about guns and attracting attention? Oh I, right. I was trying to say you can attract attention and then move off, and they will go to investigate what the sound was. And if you're not there, then um, they won't come after you. <laughs> they won't see you and come after you. Uh, however, if you are there, uh, yeah, this happens. Hey, look, lettuce, nice, and a golf club, which I have no room for, of course, because of stuff. Uh, okay, so that needs to be crafted to a seed because it's garbage uh, quality. All right, so let us try to fix ourselves up a bit here, and I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Let's see where we're at. I left the car back there because I got run out of town, but hey, I guess that's okay. At least the uh, game isn't super cheesy easy. Uh, okay, so we're at 63 wellness, which is not good, and 20% health, which is not good. So let's use up some of this great stuff we got in the pharmacy. Uh, magic pills for eliminating pain. Let's try those. I think that's going to maybe lower the water and raise our uh, health. Yep. Oh, and notice the uh, saturation comes back as you Okay, it doesn't lower water. Just let, just raises your health. So we're going to use it all three of these. That's fine. Uh, saturation comes back as you get worse and worse. You get like all shaky and everything turns kind of black and white. It's kind of kind of a neat little effect. Uh, the other one I wanted, we didn't get any cough syrup, did we? Or antibiotics? I thought we got an antibiotic. I guess not. All right, well, vitamins is the lowest tier for restoring your uh, wellness slash immunity. Let's go. Uh, I don't know if it's even going to help, but there is healing. So if we increase that by a point. All right, well, let's finish our agriculture. 
And let's increase that by a point. That's it, because already that's up to 20, because that's not a specialized skill. So it goes up much faster than the, the specialized ones. Uh, and let's put the last point, I think, into sneaky deaky, because I like to be able to sneak a little bit better. Thank you. Uh, let's try to eat this one now. I think it's only like 10 points. Let's see. Yeah, 10 points. Well, we got a little bit of health out of it, too. I didn't know that. Uh, a little bit of immunity, a little bit of health. So that's not terrible. Uh, we can also use our purification tablets now to repair our bottle of water and make it 100%. And now, how are we doing? Not sure how much a bottle of water does. I think I'm going to wait till I'm a little bit lower before I drink a 100% bottle of water. Um, yeah, so. Probably going to put the guns away until I got lots of ammo and... This ain't bad. So these guys use civilian ammo. Oh yeah, let's do that real quick. So you can reload if you have another clip. Oh, we don't have another clip. So we have to hit T and click on this to unload it. Pops the magazine out. And then we find it somewhere in our inventory. Uh, right click that and refill it. And now we can refill it with the civilian ammo. And now when we come back to here, we can re reload and we get our seven shots back. So there you go. Uh, so each of these will have a clip, and you can also right-click and strip, right-click and strip them here to get the uh, clips out, as well as any attachments. So let's just refill those. We'll combine those two together and make uh, three shots instead of one and two. The only thing you can't do is you can't get the bullets out of here and put them back into a box, which is kind of annoying if you want to move from one to the other because these only work in Colts. Uh, a Colt, whereas these, of course, you can reload a bunch of stuff. Anyway, what was I going to say? Yeah, totally forgot. Anyway, all right, so, uh, yeah, there's my last lettuce seed. I think we're good, honestly. Um, I mean, these are going to take a while to grow, but as long as I can get a bit of cloth or ropes, I can keep... Uh, Let's just do that. Oh man, what a mess. What a mess up here. Uh, as long as we can get some cloth, we can make rope. If we can get rope, we can make fertilizer. If we can make fertilizer, we can make... That's still not enough room because this is a five wide dude. And let's see. Can you not... You, you won't flip for me. Nope. Thank you. That there and that there. And then these two colts can go over there. All right, that will help significantly. Let's do a little bit of crafting here. We're going to make a little bit more fertilizer up. There's three more. I guess I can just hotkey it. Actually, I don't have to hotkey it, do it Because I can just do uh, one, two, two, and three. So I keep sticking with the lettuce because you get more water than you get food out of it. And as you notice, I'm at 60% food, 53% water again. So you always seem to be a little bit behind on the water. Let's see if we can get ourselves up to 90% here. I really probably should make seeds and replant, but I guess I'm kind of trying to point, prove a point. There we go. Almost 90%. I could eat one more, but that'd be a waste right now. So let's make these into seeds, and uh, I think I'm going to say this is good. Uh, basically, this is the kind of getting started. How do you not die your first day in solo well, how do you not die from starvation and very basic starting stuff in uh, Unturned? So if you guys liked it, uh, let me know. I don't know if I'm going to do a lot more solo recording here. Uh, but if you guys enjoy seeing this new game, I mean, a lot of people really just like Minecraft. And uh, that's fine. If you guys like this, though, let me know. And uh, Tater. Hmm. Do I not have Tater? feel like I should have Tater. Whatever. Uh, if you like to see this kind of thing, then uh, we'll, maybe I'll figure something out. Otherwise, I may just uh, kind of call it here and say, hey, look, we we survived the uh, early onslaught of, oh, God, I have nothing. I have no weapons. I have no food. I have no anything. What do I do? Right? And uh, kind of hoping to get some folks over that super early hump of how do I, how do I even get going in this game? Because it took me a while, and I was talking to a couple of people who had played it before, and I kept saying, well, how do I make this? Oh, well, you just go get yourself a saw. Okay, how do I get a saw? Well, you just go find one. 
well, what if I can't find a saw? You know, round and round and round. So it was very much like, I don't get the beginning of this. And uh, we died a lot. We starved out a lot before I got to the point where I could figure this much out. So there you go. There's my little dinky farm. It's nighttime. Let me uh, let me end with the. That is so annoying. If I, you know what? If I drop this here, then then just freaking switch it. Just the, whatever. Fine. There we go. I'll do it that way. All right. There's my little bitty farm and my little bitty uh, not even a base, but some storage outside of town. Uh, I did want to mention I did this a ways away from town because at least in multiplayer, as best as I can figure out, things respawn at least faster if you kind of leave the area and then come back. So I'm not sure I'm really far enough away, far enough away from town to make that happen, but I'm kind of between that barn and between that town, so maybe this is far enough to make both of them respawn and I could go either direction. Again, if you're going to be on multiplayer, of course, you're going to want to uh, build off in, the, off in the woods somewhere and hide away and, and make yourself something a lot more secure than this. But uh, for solo, solo survival, I thought this would be okay. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, we'll see. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down works too. Uh, but I'd like to see the comments and see what you, uh, if you enjoyed it or uh, what your thoughts were on it. Uh, I think probably going to move on to another game or move back to one of my favorite games once the Alpha 15 comes out. Most of you probably know what I mean by that. But uh, anyway, just had a little bit of time. thought I'd do this real quick. That's it. I'll catch you in the next thing. Later.